everyone. Welcome back. Hope you're all having an awesome Monday. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. I've actually selected a few sets for today's speed build, all of which come from the Pirates 1 Imperial Soldier series. So stick around to the end to hear my review, and let's get started. <laughs> So here we have the completed builds, and you will probably never hear me say a single negative thing about the Imperial Soldier sets. These are some of the greatest, most classic LEGO sets of all time, in my opinion. It's one of my favorite themes, and I hope to someday own all of them. But for right now, I just have these three. So here on the end, we have Lagoon Lockup, set 6267, and this set is from 1991. It is right around 170 pieces, so not a whole lot of pieces, but does come with five minifigures. This set right here is Saber Island, set 6265. It's actually from 1989. It's right around 80 pieces, but it does also come with three minifigures. And then here on the end, this is the Broadsides Brig. It's set 6259. It's also from 1991. It's only around 50 pieces, but it does come with three minifigures. And the minifigures from these sets are just amazing. They're some of the best minifigures in my opinion. The Imperial Soldiers are just some of the greatest printed designs for the torsos. I love them. So here we have just a general Imperial soldier. He's got the backpack on, he's got a musket. So really nice. I love the little piece that goes on the shoulders. Another one. 
So really classic, really fun. One of the things I like most about these is the use of the three primary colors, so red, blue, and yellow. It really just makes these sets pop. I also really like the use of a cloth sail in this boat with the little pirate flag at the top. We've got a classic pirate here. I also like that these sets, you know, they're from the late 80s, the early 90s. They're before the color change, so they also use the classic grays and browns, which is really nice. This set also has one of the best flags, in my opinion. Like I said, I'm not going to say a single negative thing about these sets. And I lucked out that these were in really good shape. It does come in the Lagoon Lockup as well as Saber Island. Now, these two sets I actually did get when I was in high school. My mom took me to a vintage toy auction that was nearby and since I was underage she bid for me but we were able to get these two as well as a bunch of small classic castle sets like some lion knights and um, a few other classic castle sets that were really small so I was able to get I don't know it was probably around 10 different little sets and it was I think when we finished bidding it was around $65 so one of the best deals of my lifetime, considering what these sets go for now. Getting all of those for that price when, you know, you're probably going to pay more than that for just one of these sets was pretty great. And I'm so glad that we randomly found that auction. I do also like the use of the classic palm trees. This set's really great because it comes on this little, you know, island printed base plate. Which is super cute. I'm also a huge fan of these brick printed panels. So those are really nice. A classic cannon. We've also got another little boat. So I like it in red as well. And we've got the little flag on the back. So there's a lot of repetitiveness to the minifigures, but that's great just because then you can build a whole army. So I really like that you get kind of the same minifigures in each of these sets because when you put them together, it looks really nice. And then here on the end, we've also got a little flag and a great different brick printed panel and a parrot. I love the classic parrots. So all really great. And I know there's a huge debate going on. I've been asked this question before as to whether people like the red printed flags or the blue ones better and the minifigures as well. So I change my mind day to day. I have more of this series than I do of the red ones. So I like it just because it's what I have. I, I tend to like the blue better. But let me know in the comments below which one you like better, the red or the blue. So, like I said at the beginning, I'm not going to be saying anything negative about these, and I'm definitely going to be recommending you look into buying these because they're just so phenomenal. So these sets are made of a lot of generic parts and just a very few amount of specialty parts, so if you can't afford to buy them outright, you could definitely attempt to put these sets together with pieces you have lying around. I mean, this one is mostly just white pieces and yellow pieces with just a few kind of specialty parts. And outside of the minifigures as well, you know, you've got the sail, the flag, and the minifigures. Those are really the most expensive pieces of this set. So you could put this set together yourself slowly as you can afford it. Same with all of these, and then add the minifigures in, the flag in, as you're able to, without having to put out a ton of money all at once. And again, you could add the instruction manual later, look for a box if you're a box collector, and I just, I've done that with several sets, even the third edition Hogwarts Castle, I put together for much cheaper and then added in the minifigures later. And you just save yourself a bunch of money. One of the perks of shopping through BrickLink is being able to kind of buy things as you can afford them. So I definitely recommend trying that out, especially with some of the older sets that are a lot of generic pieces. But definitely, definitely add at least one of these sets to your collection because they are so fun and so classic.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. See you next time. If you'd like a For Bricks and Giggles t-shirt like the one I'm wearing, go to my webpage link in the description and click the merch button.